Yo, what's up everybody? This is Dayton from Killinois Kennels again. And what you guys are going to see today is the long-awaited video of the Vanilla Gorilla and Mia pups at 8 weeks old. We had 4 males and 2 females off of this litter. Make sure you guys watch this video all the way to the end. We're going to show you the parents. We're going to break down their pedigree. And we got tons of real nice footage of the puppies. So make sure you guys stay tuned. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. And after you guys get done watching this video, make sure you guys go check out some of our other videos. We got a lot of real nice American Bully content on this channel. This boy you've been looking at is the father of the pups that we have available. This is our boy, Killinois Kennels Vanilla Gorilla, a dog we produced in-house here at the Killinois camp. He comes from generations and generations of our blood and is a real badass boy as you can see. This is his first litter out and it looks like he's already following in his father's footsteps. Just wait till you guys see these pups. This boy is one of the most extreme American bullies I've ever seen and at just at a year old he still has a lot more growing to do. But we're going to go ahead and move on and break down Vanilla Gorilla's pedigree a little bit. We're going to start off with his father here, our boy, Killinois Kennels White Folks, another dog we produced in-house at the Killinois camp and again comes from generations and generations of our blood. He's a real badass boy and he produces his ass off. Just look at Vanilla Gorilla and our boy Napoleon. But now we're going to break down his ped. He comes off of our boy, Killinois Kennels Primro, as seen here. Real badass dog, another dog we produced in-house here at the Killinois camp, and again, comes from generations of our blood. This is Primrose's father, our boy, Killinois Kennels Rocky, another dog we produced and one of our foundation studs over here at the Killinois camp. This right here is our boy Primrose's mother, our girl, Killinois Kennels Prodigy, a real badass female, one of our foundation females over here at the Killinois camp. She come out of Hennessy and Paradise and was the littermate sister to True Tank's Menace and half-sister to the Samurai Paco. This right here is white folks' mother, our girl, Killinois Kennels Trinity, a real badass Razor's Edge female. And this right here is Trinity's father, Razor's Edge Primetime, a real badass Smokey son. And it also goes back to some other real nice Edge blood. And this is Trinity's mother, our girl, Killinois Kennels Nuisance, one of our foundation females over here at the Killinois camp. But that's it for breaking down white folks pedigree. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to Vanilla Gorilla's mother. Again, this is Vanilla Gorilla's mother, our girl, Muscle Tone Bully's Cookie. She's a real badass female and been producing some really nice dogs for us thus far. Just take a look at our boy Vanilla Gorilla and wait till you guys see our boy Killinois Kennel Smoke. We posted a video of Smoke not too long ago. Make sure you guys go check that out. He's a real badass boy and one of our up and coming studs that we have hidden over here. Just wait till we bust this boy out though. He comes off of our stacks and cookie breeding. Just another hidden gem that we have marinating over here for you guys. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But that's it for the footage of Vanilla Gorilla's mother. Now we're going to go ahead and break down her pedigree a little bit. And we're going to start off with her father, Muscle Tone Bullies Magoo. This is Muscle Tone Bullies Magoo. He's a real badass boy. One of the most famous American bullies ever. This dog was sold out to China to Nan Bai for $750,000. He's a real badass boy and got blood all over the world. And this right here is Magoo's father, Gotti Lines Dax. RIP to Gotti Lines Dax and RIP to Ed Shepard. This is another one of the most famous American bullies ever. And this right here is Cookie's mother, Muscle Tone Bullies Frost. A real heavy bred Dax female, real badass girl. But that's it for the breakdown on our boy Vanilla Gorilla's pedigree. Now we're going to go ahead and show you the mother of these pups. Our girl, Killinois Kennels, Mia. Again, this is the mother of the pups that we have available. She's a real badass female and goes back to some of the best blood on both sides of the American Bully world with the Gotti line and the Razor's Edge. Make sure you guys stay tuned. We're going to be breaking down her pedigree. And we also got a lot of real nice footage of these pups. So again, make sure you guys stay tuned. 
but me is a real badass female got a real nice block head real nice chest nice bone you know she's black tri so which that's a plus as well and uh you know this is the first time that we've bred her and so far so good man these pups look amazing like i said earlier in this video mia is about 50 edge 50 gotti and i forgot to mention that vanilla gorilla is that as well so we feel like these two complement each other really really well man and we're really looking forward to seeing what the future holds for these pups so I showed you guys a lot of dogs here and I want to make sure everybody's on point you know the first dog I showed you was vanilla gorilla he's the father of the pups this right here is the mother of the pups but we're gonna go ahead and move on and break down her pedigree and we're gonna start off with her father this is her father mini Mac a real badass Dak son real badass boy he's the littermate brother to this boy phenom one of the best producing Dax dogs ever and this is their father Gotti Lines Dax again RIP to Gotti Lines Dax and RIP to Ed Shepard this right here is Gotti Line Dax's father Gotti Lines Romeo she's really heavy bred on this boy as well she also goes back to this badass boy right here Cali Kingpin's G2 a real badass Gotti Line dog on the other half of her pedigree she's really heavy bred on the razor's edge side and she goes back to this boy Texas Cartels Pee Wee one of the best producing razor's edge dogs ever she also goes back to this boy Diego's Thing another one of the best producing razor's edge dogs ever he was a real badass boy and he threw it down R.I.P. to Diego's Thing and big shout out to Albert from Diego Kennels she also goes back to this boy Low Jack's Remy Martin a real badass Razor's Edge dog and also goes back to this girl Black China, a real badass Razor's Edge female with all that being said she's really heavy bred on the Cairo and the Short Shot Blood and anytime you combine these two bloods together you always got great results but that's it for the breakdown on the pedigrees we showed you vanilla gorilla we broke down his pedigree we showed you mia broke down hers now we're going to show you guys the video that you guys all been waiting for well here they are here are the vanilla gorilla and mia pups at eight weeks old we had four males and two females off of this litter and if for those of you guys that watched the video yesterday i made it an exception for one of the customers i had a lady contact me from mexico she was in the united states in colorado and they were just here for a small period of time they really really wanted a pup off of this litter and the only way that they could really get it back there was flying back with it and they had a real short period of time that's the whole reason why it took me so long you know to get up videos and all that and like i said we had a really busy week man last week was my birthday it was my son's birthday me and my son have the same exact birthday and you know my oldest son's got football all the kids are going back to school school and stuff it's just been really really busy over here and not only that you know the lady from mexico contacted us and we only had a couple days to get this dog shipped out so what we did was is we booked a flight and you know we flew one of the puppies out to the lady that way she could get it on their flight with them and i think they were leaving either today or tomorrow so you know one of the males is gone but we got the whole rest of the litter there like i said normally we wouldn't do that and we don't really like to do that but with them being located in mexico you know we would love to get some of our blood out there we sold dogs in mexico in the past but you know it's been quite a while so you know we made that exception that one time but we still do have five pups left we have three males and two females that are both all going to be available off of this litter so make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of this video though i got tons of video of these guys running around and then i got some video that you you know of us holding them so you guys can get a good look at each individual pup for anyone that's interested in a pup off of this litter just get with us and we can take care of you we provide shipping worldwide on these pups so we can get these pups anywhere in the world 
you know once we start hopping on flights and stuff that stuff gets kind of expensive but we can get these puppies to you anywhere in the world however you want to do it if you want to get them super fast you could pay for a flight and we can fly over with the puppy and hand deliver it to you ourselves or you can pay for a ground shipper and he'll bring it to your house it takes a little bit longer for the ground shipping for those that don't want to wait on ground shipping though you can pay for a flight pay for the dog to get on the flight with one of us and we can fly it over to you you know within the next couple days so however you guys like to do it we can make it happen you know with the ground shipping you know depending on where people purchase these pups at you know we might be able to get you a little bit better deal on the ground shipping so however you want to do it we can make it happen we have the first pick male the second pick male and the fourth pick male available off of this litter we also have the first pick female and the second pick female off of this litter so again if anyone's interested get with us and we can take care of you I want to send a huge shout out to the Gonzalez family for picking up the third pick male off of that litter. We really appreciate your guys' business. And like I said earlier, normally we wouldn't let nobody slide through like that. But, you know, this was a once in a lifetime opportunity for them. And like I said, we would love to get some more of our blood out there in Mexico. You know, we've sold dogs in Mexico before, like I stated. But, you know, it's been a long time. Our dogs have progressed since then. And, you know, just the, it was a good, quick opportunity to get one of our dogs in a different country. And that's the only reason why we let her slide through. You know, we, we trying to give everybody a fair shot. You know, we've had a lot of people hit us up on these puppies. And, you know, we don't want anybody to feel like they were cheated out of a pup. You know what I mean? So we gave everybody a heads up yesterday, letting everybody know that we was going to drop this video. And today we dropped it. But make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of this video. We got plenty of plenty of more footage of these puppies running around and stuff. And then, like I said, you know, we got video of each individual pup so we can explain them to you guys. That way you can tell us exactly which puppy you want. You know, try to make things easier for everybody. If you ask me, I'd have to say Vanilla Gorilla and Mia threw it down on this litter. Super consistent litter of puppies. All real nice. No slouches. You know, the last picks are good picks. You know what I mean? I want to send a huge shout out to all of our subscribers and supporters, everybody that shows love on the videos, hits that like button, comment, shares, all that good stuff, man. We just blew past 18,000 subscribers and we couldn't have got there without your guys' help. So again, man, big shout out to you guys that show love It we really, really appreciate it. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel, man. We got a lot of real nice stuff coming up. We got a Killinois customer update video on Benny Blanco that we're going to be releasing here really soon. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. We're going to do some real nice show vlogs. We got some real nice throwback Thursday videos that we're going to be putting up. You know, we're going to start off where we left off and, um, you know, it's going to be some real good videos. We also got a new series that we're bringing to the channel called Killinois production videos. I had one about 90% done that I was going to post last week and then Wednesday my world just went crazy man and I didn't have enough time to do any videos or anything so again sorry about that but we're about to get everything right back to you know the way things was going we were moving really really good you know we got some new dogs that we're going to be bringing to the channel I got some updated footage of Elsa I got some updated footage of Frisco we got a lot of real nice stuff coming man and we got a lot of real nice stuff coming up so make sure you guys stay tuned like I said we got tons of footage I might have even went overkill on the footage but for those people that are about to purchase a puppy you know that's why we take tons of uh, footage of the puppies for you guys that way you guys can get a real good look at what you guys are going to be receiving you know we don't want nobody buying no pup that they don't want not too long ago, I had a couple call me up about purchasing a pup. I was talking to the husband. 
And, you know, he had the understanding of the pup they wanted. They purchased the puppy. And then the next thing you know, you know, his wife was mad that that's not the dog that she wanted, you know. And that was something that they had going on between them, you know. So, please talk to your wife before you call me trying to buy a pup. Make sure you guys agree on the exact pup and all that good stuff. Because once you buy the pup, it's a done deal. It's, a, it's done and it's over with. For those of you that is really interested in getting a puppy off of this litter, these puppies don't last long. As soon as we drop these videos, these puppies go within less than 24 hours. And that's, you know, that's the honest to God truth. So if you're really interested in one of these pups, don't wait to pull the plug. Get with us as soon as possible and we'll take care of you. But that's about it for the footage of these guys running around and stuff. So here in a second, you're going to see us holding the puppies and I'm going to explain exactly which dogs or what picks and all that good stuff. So again, make sure you guys stay tuned because it's coming up right now. This right here is the fourth pick male. And for anyone that's interested in this boy, get with us and we'll take care of you. This right here is the second pick male, and to be quite honest with you, this could possibly be the first pick male. This boy is super nice, and the way we're making these picks, we're making these picks on how we feel what the picks are. You might feel different, so make sure you get the pup that you want. This right here is the first pick male, and like I just said, you know, these are the way we see the picks. You might see the picks different, you know what I mean? So don't let our decisions and our picks detour the dog that you want. This right here is the second pick female. And for anyone that's interested, you can give me a call at 217 280-0151 and please call our phone please don't text us it just takes too long to deal with text messages and you'll get a hold of me way better by just giving us a call and this right here is the first pick female so for anyone that's interested make sure you guys are listening and when you contact me tell me the exact pick you want and we'll make sure you get the exact dog that you want but make sure you guys stay tuned here in this next clip. I'm going to show you the pup that the Gonzalez family got from Mexico. Again, big shout out to them for their business. And here's the clip of their pup playing with their kids. Well, that's it for the video of the Vanilla Gorilla and Mia Pups at eight weeks old. We hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Let's shoot for a thousand likes on this video. I put tons of work in on this video, you guys. Please make sure you hit that like button, comment, you know, comment Killinoy Kennels in the comment section if you watch this video all the way through. Share it with your friends, all that good stuff, man. We really, really appreciate it. And for anyone that's interested in getting a pup off of this litter, make sure you get a hold of me. Because like I said, these pups won't last long. Everybody's going to get their fair shot. Just get a hold of me and we'll lock you in. We're PayPal ready. And if anyone's interested, you can give me a call at 217-280-0151. And we'll take care of you. Like I said, we provide shipping worldwide. We can get these puppies anywhere in the world, you know. We have a couple different ways we can ship them out to you. We can fly the puppy out and deliver it to you, like I said earlier in this video. And that, you know, will just take a couple days. Or we can set up a ground shipper and, you know, we'll have the pup out to you in about a week or two. So however you guys want to do it, we can make it happen. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. And after you guys get done watching this one, make sure you guys go check out some of our other videos. We got a lot of real nice American Bully content on this channel. Again, 
Big shout out to all of our supporters, everybody showing love on the channel, hitting that like button, comment, sharing, sharing our channel with their friends, all that good stuff. We just blew past 18,000 subscribers and we couldn't have did it without your guys' help. So again, if anyone's interested, get with us and we'll take care of you. And don't forget, this Saturday, it's going down. August 24th in Graham, Washington, we got three BRC Global shows and three free junior handler classes. We also have two fun shows, the Frenchies versus the Bullies and Exotic Bullies. For anyone that's interested in going to this show, make sure you guys pause it right here and get all the information off this show banner, or you can hit me up at 217 280-0151 and I'll give you all the information you need to get to that show and don't forget August 31st I'll be judging a dog show out in Johannesburg South Africa with the IBKC make sure you guys stay tuned for that show vlog it's gonna be a real good one another show that I'll be judging coming up is September 7th in Aurora Illinois we got a IBKC custom car and dog show it's going to be a real good time. It's hosted by my good friend Israel Vargas from Keeping It Bully Magazine. Another show coming up that I'll be judging is September 21st in West Bend, Wisconsin. Hosted by Big Kev from Night Night Kennels and Collars. It's going to be a real good event. All these events you're seeing here, we will be doing show vlogs on all those events. So if you want to come out and get in on the show vlog, make sure you do so. Make sure you pause it, get all the information off that banner, or you can give me a call and I'll give you all the help you need to get to that show. And make sure you guys stay tuned. We're going to be doing a Killinois customer update video with that boy Benny Blanco out in Long Island, New York. It's going to be a real good video, and this boy is blowing up, man. Just wait till you see this video. But thanks for all the love and support, everybody. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share. All that good stuff. And thanks for watching. We really, really appreciate it.